In this video, we will look at factoring 5 plus 625 y cubed. When we're factoring, we have seen many different strategies and skills that can be used in order to factor an expression. The important thing is knowing which one to use at which time. However, for any factoring problem, the first step is always the same. The first step is always the greatest common factor. Let's look at this expression and see what the GCF is. 5 and 625 both have 5 as a factor, and that leaves 1 plus 125 y cubed. We can decide our next step based on the number of terms in the expression. 2 terms is a shortcut, 3 terms is the AC method, and 4 terms would be grouping. Here we have 1, 2 terms. We're looking for one of our shortcuts. Because the y is cubed, what we would like to use is our cubes formula. Let's see if we can use our cubes formula. The cube root of 1 is 1, and the cube root of 125y cubed is 5y. Now, with the GCF out front, the cubes formula starts with a binomial and then a trinomial factor. The binomial, we just plug the roots in that we just found, 1 and 5y. And then in the trinomial, we start by squaring the first term, 1 squared is 1, multiplying the terms together, 1 times 5y is 5y, and finally squaring the last term, 5y squared is 25y squared. We can then fill in the signs using SOAP where S stands for the same sign as the problem, or plus, O the opposite sign of the problem, or minus, and the last one is always plus. We have now factored our binomial to 5 times 1 plus 5y times 1 minus 5y plus 25y squared. We found this answer by first factoring out the GCF, then noticing there were two terms using one of our factoring shortcuts. We can check this answer to be sure it's correct by multiplying it out. Let's do that by first distributing the 5 through the first parentheses. That would give us 5 plus 25y times 1 minus 5y plus 25y squared. Now distributing the 5 all the way through, 5 times 1 is 5, minus 25y, plus 5 times 25 is 125y squared. 25y multiplying through gives us plus 25y. 25y times negative 5y is negative 125y squared, and 25y times 25y is positive 625y cubed. As we try and combine like terms, you see the negative 25 and positive 25 subtracting out. The positive 125y squared and the negative 125 squared subtracting out, and all that's left is 5 plus 625y cubed, which is the exact same thing we started with. That tells us our factoring answer must be the correct answer.